What's good everyone? This is Jin on Jin and Nolar's channel. Welcome back for another showcase and session. This guy's EZA is finally available. I've been looking forward to this for a very, very long time. His link skill levels have been at 10 for a while now and uh, yeah, we're ready to test it out. So first off, I do have to say the sticker effect on this card is extremely nice. I had no regrets assigning st sticker effects to this unit and uh, the EZA being live is even even a better reason to do so. Now in terms of like the overall upgrades, let's just kind of break it down real quick. So with the EZA, uh, super tech uh, type key plus 3 HP attack and defense 130% and then or extreme tech types get key plus 3 HP attack and defense increase to 90% for the super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, so uh, practically a pretty good unit to take on, you know, Super Battle Road and stuff like that. Uh, passive skill is also pretty interesting. Uh, attack and defense increase 130%. High chance of randomly changing key spheres of a certain type. Uh, tech key spheres excluded to rainbow type key spheres, plus an additional attack and defense increase to 30% for rainbow key sphere obtained, and then attacks effective against all types for seven turns from, from the uh, start of turn. Now in terms of link sets, uh, overall, so you're looking at Golden Warrior, that's um, at level 10, all enemies defense minus 10% and key plus 1. Super Saiyan will be attack increase of 15%, Saiyan Lineage will be key plus 2, attack and defense increase of 5%. Uh, Revival's key plus 2, attack and defense increase 5% and recovers 5% HP when HP is 50% or less. Over and a Flash will be key plus 3 and attack increase of 7%. Limit Breaking Form will be attack increase to 10% when performing a super attack and lastly Fierce Battle will be attack increase to 20%. I did kind of debate on which uh, category I wanted to showcase the EZA on. Ultimately I went with the, um, uh, what was it, the uh, Majin Buu Saga and the uh, Battle Wits category combination with the uh, STR Super Vegito. But in terms of other categories available, you've got Resurrected Warriors, again Majin Buu Saga, Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Otherworld Warriors, and Turtle School. I guess like one of the things I was thinking about was uh, linking this guy up with the uh, the new uh, LR Super Gogeta, the tech version on JP. You know, obviously Gogeta is also a, an orb changing unit, a rainbow key sphere, so I figured that might you know potentially help Goku be able to acquire as many rainbow key spheres uh, possible, but. After kind of thinking through it a little bit, I wanted to run a category setup that I would typically run with this unit and basically keep it a little bit realistic where he's not constantly obtaining a bunch of rainbow key and just see how he does on his own with the uh, secondary passive of a high chance of ra randomly changing key spheres to rainbow type, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I, w I wish it was a little bit more guaranteed than a high chance, but you know, it is what it is, I guess, at this point. Now with the uh, EZA, 100% potential, uh, you've got HP at 18,030, attack is 19,746, and defense is 10,846. Uh, 12 key multiplier for this unit is 140%. And if you saw the potential system builds, I went with a heavier focus on additional, so I've got level 20 additional attack, and then level, I think 14 for crits. I assigned like a level three crit skiller for the unit, so. Just a you know heavy a little a little bit heavier reliance on additionals, but also kind of set himself up to be able to crit on a on a frequent enough basis is kind of what I'm thinking. And I you know honestly um, the way the team runs, I mean, I ran it with mostly the transforming Super Saiyan three Goku as the uh, linking buddy, just to kind of I don't know, just kind of one of those things before even the EZA being live. That's kind of what I was thinking about anyway. So. I kind of stuck with my intuition on just kind of linking those two units up and see how they would perform. I did throw in other units like, you know, I have support floaters like the um, uh, Great Saiyaman as well as the, uh, well I guess both versions of Great Saiyaman, the STR versions, but you know, I've got other units like the um, either the physical type uh, Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks unit that did get an easy A or the uh, transforming version of Gotenks which is the uh, intelligence version so I did two separate runs and kind of swapped them out just to see you know how each of those units will link up with the um, easy A Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku so again bottom line is I'm extremely happy with um, finally this guy having his easy A I think you know 
looking back on it in hindsight, certain things were certainly lacking in terms of like the overall um, you know, skill sets that uh, the unit possessed in the past. I think the biggest thing is defense, right? They finally gave this guy a defensive buff where in the past it was literally just attack increase 120%, but now he's also, not only did the uh, attack percentage go up by 10%, but defense, you know, buff of 130%, that's a pretty big deal. And on top of that, you know, you're, you're incrementally increasing attack and defense by a further 30% with every Rainbow Key Sphere obtained, so that's going to make him a lot more viable in terms of, you know, team building in a current setting. I mean, I remember when the banner first came out, and this was before the time I was really utilizing Twitter for leaks and stuff like that. I don't think outside of uh, Hatosama, it was, there weren't that many leakers at the time, but point being, the release date was March 17th of 2017. That was during the Saiyan Day celebration of, of JP at that time, and... Um, to be quite honest, I remember like logging into the game, accessing the banner, and then checking out the skill sets and whatnot for the first time, and yeah, it was an extremely exciting time, and uh, a lot of nostalgia and, and uh, you know just fondness and, and memories kind of go behind the fact that I am extremely happy about the um, Extreme Z Awakening for this unit. It was long overdue, and I'm, I'm finally glad they, they came around to this unit, so I think this is... The last unit out of the 120% meta leads um, that um, the monotype leads that ended up uh, easy A. So I think the if I'm correct on that, the next steps are obviously you know starting the uh, category process of, of units that you know need easy A's. Like for example, the first one that comes to mind is obviously the um, uh, strength type ultimate go on. I, I certainly see that happening, but. Uh, potentially, you know, from a timeline standpoint, you know, with Worldwide Celebration coming up, um, you know, previously it was called the Download Celebration, and uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the tech version, and the physical type Omega Shenron, they, they kind of came out during that time of several years ago, but I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of brought that back with the Easy Ace potentially. I know there was like rumors and speculations about, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta being the next... Uh, worldwide celebration unit. I have a lot of reservations. And I think ultimately it came down to the fact that it was a it was a, uh, a faulty uh, leak to say the least. But I mean, either way, from a timeline standpoint, you know, even if it doesn't fall in line with a, a GT celebration necessarily, um, I certainly think it would be a good idea to roll out Easy Ace for those units at that time, considering you know they came out during the download celebration, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was. Uh, 2017, if I'm not mistaken, when they came out too. So, you know, right along the time frame of the um, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku that you're seeing right now, you know, it kind of makes sense, but we'll see how things go. I do want to go, go in and test this unit out a lot more, though. This is kind of like the first, you know, two runs that I kind of tested out just to kind of get a showcase out of the way. But, you know, I'll definitely be testing in more difficult, you know, scenarios like Super Battle Road and stuff like that and, and just see how the unit performs, especially the fact that he's, he does have the stunning ability where I think previously it was a rare chance, now it's a medium chance, so a lot more practicality in terms of relying on the stun factor. So I think, you know, that's certainly a thing to factor in in terms of like the overall testing of the unit along with, you know, offensive and uh, defensive capabilities. It'll be quite interesting to see how the unit performs. Um... I just got to figure out what you know setups I want to I want to test out on. I get I guess I'll talk to Nolar about it and you know see what he thinks. But overall, this is a pretty good EZA. I think it's uh it's good for what it is. It serves its purpose. Ultimately, I um you know I had very I wouldn't say very little expectations, but I had basically only a few criteria that I wanted, and mainly it was the uh, defensive buff. So I'm glad they they you know accounted for that, and I think the overall skill sets makes them a lot more viable on current teams. So with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the 100% showcase with max level links on the Extreme Z Awakened uh, Super Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. As always, I do appreciate you guys watching each of the videos. Definitely stay tuned for the next one. I know Nolara has a few of them cooked up, so definitely stay tuned for that. All right, with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace out.